right there. Basically, hey children of the world. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my um, favorites video for the month of March. Mon March was a very big month for me because my birthday was there and I had a figure skating show and March is always my favorite month because it's my busiest month and I love being busy. I don't like that feeling of sitting at home doing nothing because it's just like, I feel lazy. I'm going to have my lazy days and stuff, but you know. You know, you know. Okay, so, so I'm going to be starting my favorites. So before I start, I'm just going to be telling you that I'm uploading this like five days before I should be. Because March isn't over yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find and love products in these next five days because it is Tuesday right now. And I will be going to New York, hopefully. We don't know yet. Um, if I am, I'm leaving tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 27th. And, I'm um, sorry, I was checking the laptop. Okay, so I will be leaving then, and I will be partying it, partying it up in New York. So if you all see me in New York, make sure to say hello because I will be there. So, um, I'm so mad that I don't get to go next week on the 6th and 7th because I'm at is actually in New York. But my spring break is this week. And I can't miss school because uh, it's my last year in 8th grade. It's 8th grade. 8th grade is a pretty important year because if you don't do well in 8th grade, you're probably going to miss a lot. And I don't even know. But, um... I'm 14 now because my birthday was on March 10th, and I got a lot of stuff for my birthday, which I have been loving for the past two weeks, and I'm positive that I love them. And then there's also things that I got at the end of February because I did a huge drugstore shopping spree at the end of February, and then I got a ton of new high-end products this month for my birthday with gift cards and all that jazz. So I'm going to get into my um, favorites video. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I have here is the CoverGirl Clean Foundation in the shade Classic Tan. And this foundation is super good because it's like light and it doesn't make you feel like all heavy and gross. And I hate that feeling, especially when it comes into spring and summer when you are already like really, like it's hot outside, you feel warm, and your skin's not dry like it is in winter. So um, I really have been loving that foundation. I've just been using my Eco Tools Kabuki stippling brush with that. So those two are my first favorites. Next, I, on top of that, I have been layering some of the Rimmel Stay Matte powder. And this powder is just super nice. It's just, it's really simple, just a uh, matte powder. And it is in 00 Sandstorm. And it says it gives you up to five hours of shine control. And um, it just makes sure that my... Um, foundation stays on and doesn't like come off or anything like that. And then I've been following up with the blush slash highlighter, whatever you want to call it. It is the Bare Minerals um, blush highlighter thingy in Soft Focus True. And it said it was a highlighter, but I used it as a blush because if you see that, that is pretty purple. My shutter is on on my camera and it's being stupid, I'm sorry. Okay, and there is blush everywhere now. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, see it's not focusing. I don't know why. Ugh, it's stupid. Next product are eyeshadows. Um, I have been putting the color from my Naked palette. Yeah, I got a Naked palette for my birthday. And I've been using the color Half Baked, which is my favorite color out of the whole palette. Putting that on my lid and then the NYX um, Single Eyeshadow in Gypsy on my crease. And as you can see... It just looks gorgeous, baby, gorgeous. And then I take my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I just put that on, wing it out a little bit. Um, not too much, as you can tell. I don't want to wing it out. Like, whoa, it's a bird. Um, it's super simple. It works. It, it goes on. It, it's black. I really don't care. It's cheap. I can repurchase it if I lose it. That's all I really care. It works, and it stays on, so. And then the next things are mascara. I have three, technically two mascara. Technically three, but two mascaras that I have been loving um, this month. First one is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I feel like CoverGirl mascaras don't get as much attention as maybe Maybelline ones do. And really, CoverGirl does have the better mascaras, to me at least. Um... I know for a solid year and a half, I was loving the Maybelline Colossal, and I still do love that one, but the Clump Crusher just does um, more work for me. So I have been loving the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl, and I got it in water resistant. I don't know why. And then two mascaras um, that are the same actually, the same exact ones, but different, I guess. Um, 
it's the Bare Minerals. They have the same brushes and everything, but one is a waterproof formula and one is not. So it's the Floss Definition Mascara. Um, waterproof, not waterproof. So I just got both of those. I got the um, normal one for my birthday and then I went back and bought the waterproof one because I loved it. And then the next thing is a lip product. It is the Baby Lips. Um, the Baby Lips um, Chappy Sticky Thingy Mabobber in the color Yummy Plummy. It is just like a mauve pink color and it just kind of evens up the tone on my lips. I'm not wearing it right now. This is a... Um, this is a Revlon Kissable Lip Stain thingy, like lip gloss over it, but whatever. And then there is the Stila Lip Glaze in the color Peach Blossom. It's like a coral color. It works really well. It's like kind of sparkly. Gives you just the right amount of color without making it like, ba-bam, I have orange lips. Because you don't want that. So that is all for the makeup products. Now moving on to different things like nail polish and random stuff, I guess. Okay, so for nail polish, there are three colors that I've been loving. One's not really a color. First, it is the Essie color, and I'm wearing it right now, in the color Peach Dye Curry. This one is perfect for spring, I think, and I've been really into, like, um, brights and pastels and, like, you know, those colors transitioning from my gold and darker blues that I was wearing in the winter. So I was, I went, I went a little crazy um, on some Sally Hansen's and Essie's and OPI's. And then another one is the Polka.com by OPI. This is from the Oz, The Great and Powerful Collection, which I saw the movie, and it's actually really good. I recommend seeing it. And then um, I have the Essie Matte About You, which you can just put over any type of nail polish, like anything you want, and it just turns it matte, and I think it looks really good, and it makes things look a lot more like, um, I feel like a little bit more prim and proper when you matte mattify things and they I've learned that nail polishes don't come off easier when you put that on and they don't chip easier so it's kind of like a give and take there so that is it for the nail polish favorites now moving on to hair favorites I have had this new curling iron I got for my birthday I got this before my birthday actually but it is the bedhead um curling wand and it is tapered and it works super duper well um I don't know I just love it so I've been using that trying to give me nice waves. And then I have these headbands. And then they're like these headbands that have these little like wrap thingies. And then I have um, a cheetah print one, like a lace one, striped one, more lace, like a couple floral ones. I got a lot of these at Forever 21. This one I got at Cotton On and this one I got at Cotton On. And they're just really, really nice. And I love them. The next thing is really, really random. But they're these pens. And they're the Pilot G2 pens. And I have a lot. I have I got four packs, I think. No, no, not four packs. I've gone through four packs. Because some girl stole all mine. But I got two packs of these. But I've gone through four. Um, and I got, like, the bright colored packs. And it came with the pink, green, purple, the orange, and the blue and then the like darker colored pack and I just dropped a black who cares um a blue purple another purple a red a green and then a black which I just dropped so that's it for random favorites the next thing is an app and I'm going to show you and also I got a new case I used to have a turtle but now I have this and it is the app we hearted it this app has been out for quite a while now but it is so amazing it's like Pinterest and Instagram had a baby it's like crazy and they just have all of these like cute little pictures I'm sorry I'm looking behind you because I'm looking at my mirror so I can see what's going on cause... and they just have pictures and you can search things and I have like just spent all my time on it and they're just a ton of cute pictures that are interesting because interesting things make me interested so yeah, if you like quotes and like your really hipster stuff, check that app out. And then the next thing are um, the is a jewelry thing. And I've been loving triangle earrings. I know, it's so hipster, but I got a pair of these from Forever 21, and I've been wearing these like crazy. And then also like these like little flower, like rosette earrings. And I got a whole pack of these from a store called Heartbreakers, and they came with 12. So I have been loving those for the month of March. And then the last thing here on my list. Wait, that's it. Yeah, so that is it for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. 
Love you guys. You guys are my favorite people in the world. Um, yeah, see you very soon. I'm sorry this was uploaded before March, but before March ended, but that's okay. See you guys soon. Love y'all. Kiss, kiss. Bye-bye.